Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. No comparison. The hottest team in the country is Miami. Amy Campbell here to talk recruiting. And of course, we'll get to the turnover chain. But Amy, we know that Miami has been so popular this season and so good. Has that translated to the recruiting trail? Well, Maggie, they have the number four class in the country, so they're definitely doing something right. They're recruiting very well. They have the top class in the ACC. They are well ahead of both Florida and Florida State by far. So certainly translating that on-field success to the recruiting trail. And you got to love that song. It's so catchy. Let's talk about the 2018 class. Well, the top guy in this class, according to ranking, is five-star running back Lorenzo Lingard. He's the number two running back overall. He stood out when he was a freshman because he was really athletic and just so ripped for such a young prospect. He's out of Central Florida. He's got that strong lower body that gives him good power, but he's incredibly fluid for his size and has been one of the best recruiters for the Canes in this class, so they have a lot to look forward to from him. And they've got their stud running back in Lingard, but they've also got some playmakers on the outside too. And the headliner there is wide receiver Mark Pope out of Miami Southridge. He's 6'1", 175, so he'll need to put on some weight, but he's got the frame for it. He runs great routes, and he does a really good job of creating separation from DBs. But what jumps off the film to me is his fluidity. He's just a really smooth mover. It looks easy for him out there. And it's always a good thing for the Canes to land a star athlete out of a local high school like Southridge. There's so much talent in Miami, so who are the Canes now targeting as they move forward? Well, they certainly have a lot of momentum on the recruiting trail, like we mentioned. They lost a commitment from quarterback Art Sikowski, who flipped to Rutgers. What? But don't worry, Canes fans. I know that sounds strange, but this was not going to be a good fit anyway. He's a New Jersey guy that was playing at IMG Academy in Florida, and he really struggled there and ended up spending a good part of the season on the bench. Miami does still need a QB, and soon because those quarterback dominoes fall pretty quickly in recruiting, and things are looking good with Jaron Williams, who recently decommitted from Kentucky. The four-star dual threat QB out of Gwinnett, Georgia, backed off that Kentucky pledge after he officially visited Miami for that Notre Dame game. So that says a lot. He still plans to officially visit Ohio State and Auburn, but things are looking good for the Canes there. And this is Miami, so they are sitting on a hot bed of talent, some of the best in the country, and they're trying to keep Tyson Campbell home. He's a stud five-star DB out of American Heritage Implantation, just to hop, skip, and a jump from Miami's campus. A big advantage for the Canes in this is that his former high school coach, Mike Rumpf, is now the DB's coach at the U, but Miami has some competition here with Alabama and Georgia. Those schools are still very much in the picture. So if Campbell doesn't end up wearing that turnover chain in the future, another name to know, Patrick Sertain Jr. He's Campbell's teammate at American Heritage. He's been on campus at Miami very frequently as of late. And for a long time, he looked like an LSU lean, but things are looking up for the Hurricanes there, Maggie. Okay, so we keep talking about all of this high school talent that's in South Florida. When Miami is recruiting well, how dangerous are they for everyone else in college football? That's a great question. I think a lot of other college coaches and those great recruiters should be very afraid of how well Miami is doing. When I was watching some of their games recently and seeing those guys with the turnover chain on, all of them came from Miami high schools, not even Florida high schools, Miami high schools. And I was thinking, these are some of the best DBs in the country that come out of Miami. And for years when I was covering recruiting, I was watching those guys grow up Canes fans and go to other colleges. And it didn't make sense to me because they were right there. It should be easy for Miami to grab these guys. Now they're keeping those guys home and it's making a huge difference on the field. Al Golden wasn't a great fit culture-wise when it came to recruiting that South Florida vibe. They need that swag. They're bringing it back. They've got that turnover chain. Manny Diaz has done an incredible job there with that defense and just bringing that swag back to the U that we love to see and it starts with recruiting and it's going really well for them. We almost got through the whole video without saying the U is back. The U is back. The U is back. Can't A help it. Amy Campbell, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie.